exoskeleton chassis design inspired by sandrails, the all-new Wildcat features a full perimeter frame that sets a new standard in strength, rigidity, and durability. And the high-strength, low-alloy steel gives the Wildcat's design a 40-60 front-to-rear weight distribution, which makes the front end light for optimal handling. While piloting this ultimate ride, you'll find that the Wildcat's chassis design keeps you low to the ground while leaving you less affected by the movement of the suspension. Result, a more comfortable and confident ride that allows you to maintain control in rough terrain. Speaking of suspension, the Wildcat features industry-leading suspension travel that lets you effortlessly hammer through whoops and dunes. The double wishbone front suspension boasts a best-in-class 17 inches of travel that's optimized for total stability and control. And in the back, you've got an industry-leading 18 inches of travel made possible by an industry-first five-link rear suspension. This minimizes camber change and scrub to keep the tires on the ground and absorb the harshest terrain without compromising handling and steering. Both the front and rear suspensions are dampened by adjustable Walker Evans racing shocks. These off-road competition-inspired shocks are calibrated with ample ride-in technology to keep your ride smooth and confident. Now let's talk power. Big, unbridled, sand-kicking power. And it all comes from the 1000 H2 HO engine. It's 951cc of V-twin single overhead cam EFI four-stroke power. The kind that'll have other sport ROVs feeling a bit inadequate. The 1000 HO engine has been tuned to deliver even stronger acceleration thanks to the extra torque and horsepower provided by 50 millimeter throttle bodies, a new ceramic coated exhaust and an all new air intake system. The engine transfers power to the drive shaft through the Duramatic automatic transmission while a dash mounted switch easily toggles between two and four wheel drive with a front differential lock. The Wildcat also sports best-in-class electronic power steering. Managed by an electronic control unit, the Wildcat's power steering system makes turning easier and provides better control, especially at low speeds. The result is the right amount of rider feedback to feel the limits of traction and control. And given the places you'll be going, you're gonna want that. There's more. The Wildcat has a ton of cool features like class-leading LED headlights and taillights that are clearer and brighter than HID lights. A rear cargo bed, perfect for a cooler, fuel containers, or anything else that weighs up to 300 pounds. There's also a 12-volt accessory outlet in the center console for GPS or cell phone adapters. Tilt steering, contoured high-back bucket seats, glove box, and cup holders. And the underside of the Wildcat sports full protection, high density polyethylene skid plates for the roughest terrain and obstacles. So how does the Wildcat stack up against the competition? Let's find out. The Polaris Razor XP and Can-Am Commander are also advertised as performance side-by-sides. So we put them to the test against our all new Wildcat. And when it comes to acceleration, all three machines are competitive. But when you throw some rough terrain into the mix, like whoops, hills, rocks, and more, the commander just can't cut it. And as this hill climb test shows, when it comes to delivering top performance, nothing, not even the Razor XP, is in the same class as the Wildcat. The reasons are simple. First, a demonstration on this Belgian road test track shows how the Wildcat suspension with 17 inches of travel in front and 18 inches in back delivers a much smoother ride. Note how the Razor with only 14 inches of travel equals a rougher ride. Compare that to a more level attitude on the Wildcat. A further test on this whoops course demonstrates just how smooth the Wildcat's five length suspension really is. The rider is more comfortable and is in better control. While the Razor XP and its rider take a pounding. Finally, a visual comparison illustrates how the Wildcat's chassis design places the rider lower to the ground, creating a lower center of gravity while maintaining the same amount of ground clearance. So look at the facts and you'll see there's no comparison between the Wildcat and the Razor XP. More travel? Wildcat. Five-link rear suspension? Only on the Wildcat. Electronic power steering? You guessed it. Wildcat. Automotive style paint? Wildcat. Exoskeleton chassis? 
just the Wildcat. And only the Wildcat has LED lights both front and rear. In fact, the only feature where the Razor and the Wildcat are equal is with 13 inches of ground clearance. But the Wildcat's rider position is five inches lower. Simply put, the Wildcat is in a league by itself. And that league does nothing but dominate anything and everything in its path. Boulders, sand hills, whoops, everything. It's a no compromise, pure sport hot rod that redefines what's possible with a production off-road vehicle. Arctic Cat, share our passion.